<laughs> well, hello! My name is Crafters and Builders. This is BMA Double OG here. Welcome back to another episode of BMA Craft Single SMP Single Player Season 2. Yes, yep, we're back. Sorry, it hasn't been a week since I done the last one. Of course, I was doing more stuff like live streams of PvP and the awesome stuff. Well, you know, I'm actually telling you guys, the PvPs are like the first thing I like to do. And then the next step is to me get good at building. So you can all check me out more often. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to try and get good at building this season as well. So anyways, I did a lot of stuff off camera. Um, as you can tell, we have a mushroom panel to... To breed all the mushrooms, even though I'm gonna do the whole pass the mob farm trick. Um, I made a tunnel over to the other side of the island. Just the top drawer. I'm actually gonna leave that there because because um because we're gonna need it because I want to fortune first. Oh yeah, I went ahead and mined a lot of these, the Amethyst shards. Because, um, in the furnace, I am smelting a lot of copper, because, because, there is one recipe I want to, I want to make, and that is, and I bet you all know what that is, it's the, the glass. Oh, actually, oh shoot, no, 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 why did I, why did I need copper? Oh yeah, I know why, I, I know why I need copper, I want to make one of these, the spyglass. <laughs> Here. Uh, I can see, I can see you guys now in my videos. <laughs> I'm recording, uh, it seems like I'm photo shooting while walking. <laughs> oh yeah, it's cool. Also, you probably noticed my health is half of health and it's not healing. Because I, you know what, I decided, you know what, let's turn on UHC mode. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have it on for, um, I'm gonna have it on until after I beat the dragon. Yeah, so I'm gonna beat the ender dragon first and then I'm going to do that. I also went mining like crazy. I got like loads of iron, raw iron. I haven't smelted any of this because because I know you can make these, these blocks and I would like to play around with them and see what kind of build style I would do with them. So anyways, um, I'm gonna first thing do is I'm gonna go mine some sand right now. I had to go mine sand because I want to make some tinted glass because I'm going to make an XP farm. Yes, we're going to make an XP farm this episode. Yes, because I already have 15 bookshelves and I do have enough obsidian to make to make the enchantment table already. So I can use two diamonds in that. Yeah, in this right now. So, like that. So, enchantment table. Yeah, we're gonna make an XP farm because I already have 15 bookshelves. But the problem is, I don't have any lapis here. So I'm gonna need to go get mine some later on here. But another thing, I should, um, I should probably go to the Nether because I need to gather up some soul sand in order to do this farm. So. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Oh, oh, also, I caught one of these little guys here, the Oxalotis. Yeah, I caught one of these. Um, I decided, you know what, let's keep it around, because I was thinking about naming this thing, this little guy. Um, and now, do you think I could come up with a name, or should I let you guys, or should I let you guys know what to name my Oxalotti? So, yeah, I'll let you guys know in the comments down below you do that so yeah we have three obsidian so I need to go get some more um, luckily um, in my exploring I I saw there was a desert not too far from this mission biome yeah there's a lot of terrain here I'm not sure if I'm gonna do the terraforming thing like I did in the last world um, I'm probably gonna do I'm trying to I might do a little bit of terraforming who knows and might make it flat um, because I chose that little valley as my, as my, uh, temporary base for right now. Um, and I might go through here and take out all the mushrooms here. Um, it, it doesn't matter what I would do. Yeah, there's a savanna right here. Oh, shoot. 
It's like getting night. Yeah, it's getting night right now. Um, and also, uh, I also want to show you guys where the spawn or where the XP farm is gonna be. So I'm gonna go through Savannah. It's actually in the Savannah that I found this. Um, I'm pretty sure I will see some blocks. Let's see, it's in the Savannah. That's where it is. Um, yeah, there's lots of animals here. Um, oh, by the way, I went around, and I went, um, loot hunting today, uh, the other day, and I got, like, loads of stuff from it. So I got, so I got some more diamonds, I got some more iron, and more, and some emeralds, and we got, like, four heart of the sea. Oh, cr crap, maybe I should Alright, guys, I came back to the room portal, the ten obsidian, um, uh, bases that way, so... I got, and I also went and mined a stack of sand. Oh yeah! On the way, while mining that, I died. I died to a freaking creeper. I had to do it again, because that shouldn't have happened. Maybe I should have slept in the bed before I left. <laughs> that was my fault. Right there. But I wanted to show you guys this, what I found down here. Um, while I was, um, like, caving around Savannah. Right now, because I would like to find a where the skeleton spawner was, a where a spawner was. Yep, and I found that spawner right here. And you know what it is? It's a skeleton spawner. Yep, we found a skeleton spawner, which is right at diamond level. So I gotta be careful right there. Yes, it is by diamond level. And of course, our exit, our exit is right there, so we'll be good right now. So right now, so that yeah, that's basically where the skeleton spawner is. Now I'm going. All right, now I'm going to make a cut. And I'm gonna make a portal and go to the Nether. And I hope I spawn in a good location. Ugh, maybe the two eight team mode will help my tea because I had to eat a golden apple to heal because I fell into a because I fell into a hole. Yeah, I fall. I fell into a hole. Um, and lost so much of my health. Yeah, because I don't want to lose my XP levels, because I want to get the level 30 of chance, and I want to chance that I'm big in order to get it. And hopefully, I can get Fortune 3. Hopefully I, hopefully, I can get Fortune 3 on it. Just so I can go mine for diamonds underground. So, yeah, basically, that's basically it. That's me to it, so I'm gonna cut here. Okay, guys, I'm in the nether right now. And as you can see, it kind of looks like a good spawn right here. Uh, I see some soul sand down there. Um, there's a big lava lake, gotta be careful. And I don't want to fall into it because I see the, the land down there. Massive. Oh my god, look at all these pigments. These zombie pigments. Oh my gosh. Look up. But look how many of there are. All right. Yeah, there's soul sand over there. So I'm going to head into that. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna try and get down here. We're also on the edge of the basalt delta. Um. Ooh, there's a. Ooh. I can make a bridge over there. Oh, I can make a bridge over there. Yeah, I can. I can make a bridge over there to the Soul Sand Valley. Yeah, there's a Soul Sand Valley right here. Alright. I think I'm doing the crouch thing. Right now. Alright, yeah, I'm just here to get Soul Sand. That's it. I'm not going to come through here in the nether quite yet. Yeah, I'm just going to use dirt because I don't care. Right now. Alright. Alright, so let's go over here. Yeah, I can bridge back some basalt right now. I just need soul sand and that's it. Oh, and we'll be out of here. Um, you know what? I'll make a 
mini bridge over here so I can get down really easily without losing any health. Alright, and then I'll use netherrack to finish it. Yep, surprised I didn't see a pig one here right now. Because I came in here without gold armor on. Because the pig ones would attack me right now. Yep, doesn't look like it. So, yeah, let's grab. Oh! Ugh, darn it, Skelly. Darn it, there's a skeleton. Yep, there you go. I took him out. Alright, soul sand right there. I'm just gonna mine a little bit of it. Yeah. Like, just in case if I find a fortress as well. Or a bastion. Yeah, we'll take on the bastion. Or a bastion. Alright. Yeah. This nether kind of looks different. This nether kind of looks different than the one from the last world. Because on the last world, remember, I played it in the snapshot first before the actual 1.16 came out. Yes, I did. I did that the whole thing. Yep. All right, I'm gonna cut here. <gasps> oh, there's a oh, nice. There's a Strider next to my base. Oh, nice. There's a Strider. Hi. Hi there, buddy. I would like. Aw, oh, I would like to bring this guy back to my base. Oh crap, there's a pig one. Oh no. Oh crap, there's two pig ones. Portal. Alright guys, I'm back at the skelly spawn. Alright guys, I'm back at the skelly spawner. Yep, I'm back with it. Yep, as you can see in this chest, we got soul sand. We got our soul sand. We also got tinted glass. Yes, we're we're gonna use tinted glass for the first time. And yes, the as you all probably know, the tinted glass is gonna be your best friend to build these mob farms, especially the ones that need to be dark. Yes, because the tinted glass is the dark block, so so light won't be able to come through it. Yep, yep, that's basically it. Um. So, yeah, we got this skelly spawner right here. Yep, so in order to do this, I'm going to make, I'm going to need to make this 9x9. Nine nine. Yeah, it's always going to have to be 9x9. Nine nine. So, so yeah, you're going to have to get used to that. So anyways, so anyways, I think, I think I'm going to go ahead and do my first time lapse of the world. Yes, my first time lapse. But, of course, remember, this is not going to be replay mod yet. Yeah, we're going to get replay mod soon, so don't worry. But this first one, we're going to do the normal time lapse mode. So, I will see you all back once I, once I, um, wait, uh, once I, um, fully complete this. So, anyways, I'll see you guys back. I'll see you guys back in a moment.
Now, it turns out the stream doesn't really work, so I decided to go with Penske to do that. So, yeah, there we go. So, anyways, anyways, let's build this up. Let's get rid of this torch so it'll be dark down here. It'll be dark down here, so. So the skellies will be able to come back up. Or come back down. Alright, and I gotta get out of here too. <laughs> and it doesn't matter if I lose cobble or not. Alright. There we go. Okay. There we go. We did it. So there we go. Pillar up. Pillar up. So... Yep, we're gonna need to build the rest of this. Yeah, so I'm going... Actually, you know what? Let's build it out of this stuff. Because I mined a lot of this while mining out the spawner. So, you know what? Let's design this with the... With this. With this block. Like that. Oh, ow! Uh-oh. Gotta get out of here. Ah. Uh. Alright. Alright, there we go. Alright, there we go, the cobble beat plate, yeah. Yeah, I thought I would use this. Oh yeah, and also, um, right, alright, alright, there we go, we have 60 left, so, don't worry. Don't worry, i put it here on the top, right now, put some right here. And then, right here, is where I'm going to use the tinted glass. So, now, now, I do that, and also make sure I put a pillar up here, so nothing can spawn down there. And hopefully the, uh, skellies would... Alright. Pick up the port. Alright, I hope this works. Okay, there we go. Bam. Take that. So, tinted glass right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, there's a root in there. Um, oh yeah, and then the cool thing about the tinted glass, you don't need silk cuts to get it back. So that's kind of cool. That's actually kind of cool. So, yeah, there, there's the skelly spawner. It's all dark in there. This kind of reminds me of the old days of Minecraft where you had to use slabs and, and make it like a lot darker in there. You know, the tinted glass is, reminds me of that as well. Yeah, so you're gonna love these blocks. See, just look at that. Those skellies are spawning in there. And they come down here. And then, they're gonna come down here. I'm probably gonna exp You know what? I'll expand this. I'll expand it over here and then over here. So, we'll use... I'll use one of these right now. Okay. And also, let me grab this lapis. I don't really need fortune right now. On these. Okay. Okay, so there we go. Yeah, so there we go. Now these guys can have a, a lot more room. These guys can have a lot more room now. Okay, there we go. Yep, there we go. And you know what? So cool about this, we can activate the spawner will activate when I'm over here. So yeah, that's basically it. So yeah, the tinted glass did the perfect trick. So yeah, we're gonna need to um, if I want to make a other mob traps, if, when I want to use this block, I'm gonna need to farm loads and loads and loads of those amethysts. Yes, and I heard you can make a farm out of them. I know you can. But I would like to do that in the future as well. So anyways, I've been recording for a while, um, of course. Of course, a after when you saw that time lapse, it's like, I've been recording for like a while. Right now. So anyways, let's just take these guys out. Yeah, we can just take these guys out all day. I'll probably, um, I'll 
probably do something with the farm off screen, but oh well. So anyways, that's in the up anyway, so that's all gonna be for the time for me today. So I hope you guys like this episode. Remember to leave a like on the episode if you like it. And as well as go subscribe to my channel as well. So yeah, and if you have Discord, you can join my YouTube Discord for updates and streams as well. So anyways, I'll see you all later. Bye everyone. Bye. Oh wait, wait, wait. No, I know. I I know what I message. Wait!